Alright guys, so this is my comeback video after months of life happening. So anyway, I uh, got a little package here from Mr. Mind's Mirror. If you haven't checked him out, put a little link right up here. Go check out his channel. He's got some really cool uh, custom knives he just got in. He's got a Jan's Enzo knife that is just wicked. Go check it out. But um, he was having a little knife sale, so I decided to buy a few things from him. Actually, I bought the package deal. Um, and... Uh, you know, I'm really excited because, you know, thanks to life happening the past couple months, I've had to sell just about every knife gear related thing I have. So I'm down to the nitty gritty people. I need to restock now that I've gotten back on my feet. Um, so today we're going to use one of the knives I still have left because it was a cheapie. My Kershaw Oh So Sweet because it is so sweet. All right, let's get into this. Man, can't wait. Been waiting days for this package. Paper! Oh, and then I hit the camera. That's retarded. Alright. Paper. Paper. Oh, boxes in the paper. Let's see what we got. Oh, bench made box. Spyderco box. And spider co box. Alright. Let's jump out of the way. Let's start with the Spidey since I now have no Spideys left. Um, I just traded off probably my last Spidey I had, which is my Ladybug and a Grasshopper to uh, Exacto over on his channel. I did a little trading with him and that'll be an unboxing to come. But here we go. What we got right here is a Endura 4. There you go. Alright, but this is the. Wrap it up in a nice piece of paper down here. Keep it from sliding around. Thank you, Mr. Mines Mirror. Oh, yeah. The white FRN handled Endura. Man, I've been wanting one of these. Uh, I really want a full flat ground, but this white. Man. I like that. The polished clip. Just a cool looking blade. I like the white for some reason. Um, I think I'm going to try to find a Delica too. Um, another kind of hard to find, but man, just, oh yeah, as sharp as it can be. So I got that one. The uh, second one, I really wanted this one after watching Zacto's little self defense. Um, let me show you what it is. It's a police. That's right. Exacto's uh, self-defense, what he carries, because this is like a wicked blade. Plus, I don't have a military anymore, so... Got a big knife. Oh, man. That is a huge-ass knife. Woo! Police 3 G10. Uh, let's see what he... Yeah, there's a few scratches in the end. That's what he was talking about, but, man, I didn't... I didn't even notice that. Crazy. Oh man, just as sharp as it can be. This is just a it's a big old blade, son. Come out there and just Woo. And for its size it's not really that heavy. I would say it's about as much as a military. Um man. That's a big blade right there. Reviews to come on this stuff. I know there's reviews on these two and probably the third one, but I'm gonna do my own. The last one is a bench made. And we have a 745 Mini Deja Vu, which is another knife I've been really wanting. I got three knives I really wanted in a package deal. How about that? And there we go. Oh, yeah. Bumping that damn camera. Um, man, that is a... That is just an awesome feeling knife right there. S30V, long design. Yeah, I'm going to have to fix that detent, though. I've watched, and that's been a real problem with detent on that, but I saw a Blunt Truth video on this, and he showed me how to fix it. So, I'm going to be fixing that. But that is just a awesome-looking blade. That one's just... That one's like, you know, something you could just carry on a nice night out, because it's just elegant-looking. G10's all sculpture, kind of looks like wood. And that is nice. 
All right, guys. Well, there's my little unboxing there. I'll have another unboxing when I get my uh, trade from Zacto. Uh, you know, so check him out too if you haven't. But um, I guess I'll see y'all next boxing. I'm gonna do some reviews. Get back in the game, people. I've been out of it. I need this. Keep my mind off life happening 24/7 because it happens to us all. But uh, I'll see you guys later. Peace.